Hello, children. My name's Sarah, and I'm John's mother. My son is very courageous. He overcame a very serious illness called leukemia. Le le leukemia. John felt really tired after playing. I started to worry, and decided to take John to the doctor. Hello, John. What brings you here? Oh, he has a fever. I feel tired. He's thinner. My bones are sore, and I get breathless. You're pale, and your lymphatic glands are swollen. We'd better get some blood samples done. All the checkups that John had done were important. It was the only way Doctor Hugo could make a thorough diagnosis. Dr. Hugo explained that John had acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the type of leukemia most common in children. But what is leukemia? Leukemia is an illness which affects the bone marrow, the blood factory, which starts producing sick white blood cells that multiply and prevent the normal blood cells from doing their you job. Mean, if you have leukemia, you have sick white blood cells. To better understand what leukemia is, let's travel to John's bone marrow to know the blood components. The bone marrow is the spongy material found inside the bones. It's the interior of the bone. In the bone marrow, we find the worker cells that produce blood. The red blood cells have the very important function of transporting oxygen to every cell in your body, and they eliminate carbon dioxide through your lungs. The white blood cells are your defense cells. They fight and protect us from infection. The blood platelets have a very important role in clotting blood. They prevent blood loss when we hurt ourselves. In John's leukemia, the white blood cells affected are the lymphocytes. Another type of leukemia affects the neutrophils, which are another type of white blood cell. When someone has leukemia, the white blood cells are sick and look different, as you can see. Now you know what your blood is made of and why bone marrow is so important. John was very patient and courageous and followed all of Dr. Hugo's instructions. It was he who said John had to do a treatment called chemotherapy. Chem chemo. Chemotherapy is a treatment with medication whose function is to destroy sick white blood cells that are produced in the bone marrow, preventing them from growing. In chemotherapy, it is the doctors that decide the types of medications and for how long they are administered. Sometimes it is necessary to have radiotherapy as well, so there can be a speedy recovery. A leukemia treatment can take up to two years. John will have to continue going to the hospital until he is completely cured. These treatments don't hurt, but there are some side effects like hair loss. However, hair does grow back after treatment ends. That's why I gave John a cap. And while I was at it, I also bought myself a scarf. Am I also going to lose my hair? No, don't worry. And John's hair will grow again. If you know other children who, like John, also have leukemia, don't be scared. Leukemia is not contagious. In some cases, it is necessary to place new seeds in the bone marrow, so it functions well once again. These seeds are pieces of healthy bone marrow, which is going to substitute the bone marrow that is sick and produce healthy white blood cells. We call this a bone marrow transplant. What is a bone marrow transplant? How is it done? Bone marrow transplants is a type of treatment used in the cure of some blood diseases. It consists of the replacement of sick bone marrow with healthy bone marrow cells. However, it is not a simple process as there must be compatibility between the donor's bone marrow and that of the patient receiving the treatment. In white blood cells, there are some specific markers called antigens that are the ID of these cells. The more similar the antigens of the donor are to those of the patients, the more compatible the bone marrows will be. Are there many 
bone marrows that are alike. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to find similar bone marrow types. That's why doctors start to look for donors in the patient's family. As a last resource, doctors look in lists of donors all over the world. So I can give my bone marrow to other children. Even though you're very young, speak to your family and friends about the importance of donating bone marrow. Each one of us, as long as they are healthy, can help save children with leukemia, like John. You're back, John! Yay!